my giants. I love women. I do not see them as separate things. <clears throat> women pay me to dominate, to excite them, to make them come. I did not start out like this, no, to the contrary, I started out as a lawyer. But somewhere in my late 30s, I became obsessed with making women happy. It began as a mission of sorts. Then I got involved. Got very good at it. Got a rhythm. It became my art. Then when I started getting paid for it, it was as if I had found my car. I wore outrageous outfits when I got paid for it. Lace, silk, leather. And I used props, whips, handcuffs, rope, dildos. <laughs> there was nothing like this in tax law. <laughs> no, there were no props, no excitement, and I hated, hated those blue corporate suits. Although I do wear them from time to time in my new line of work, and they serve quite nice. <laughs> No, there were no wetness, no dark, mysterious foreplay, no erect nipples, no delicious mouths, but most of all, there was no moaning. Not the kind I'm talking about. Anymore. This was key. See, I realized moaning is what ultimately seduced me and got me addicted to making women happy. When I was a little girl and I watched Women in the movies making love, making strange orgasmic noises. I used to laugh. I grew strangely hysterical. I couldn't believe those big, outrageous, ungoverned sounds like that came out of women. I longed to moan. I practiced in the mirror with a tape recorder, moaning in various keys, various tones, but always when I played it back, it sounded fake. It was fake, it wasn't rooted in anything sexual really, only in my desire to be sexual. But then when I was 10, I was on a car trip and I had to pee with it. This went on for about an hour, and when I finally got to pee at this dirty little gas station, I was so excited that I moaned. I moaned as I peed. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Me moaning in the Texas Coast Station in the middle of Louisiana. <laughs> I realized then that moans were associated with not getting what you want right away, with putting things off. I realized moans were best when they caught you by surprise, when they came from this hidden, mysterious place as if they were speaking their own language. I realized that moans were, in fact, that language. I became a moaner. It made most men anxious. Frankly, it terrified. I was loud, and they couldn't concentrate on what they were doing. They lose focus, and then they lose everything. <laughs> we couldn't make love in people's homes, the walls were too big. I started to get a reputation in my apartment building, and people would stare at me in contempt in the elevator. <laughs> Men thought I was too intense. Some called me insane. I began to feel bad about I learned to choke my moan and hold it back like a sneeze. I make noise into a pillow. I started to get stress-related disorders and headaches. I was becoming hopeless until I discovered women. I discovered that most women love my moan, but more importantly, I discovered how deeply excited I would get when other women moan, when I was responsible for other women moan. Discovering the key, unlocking the vagina's mouth, unlocking this great song, this voice. I'd make love to quiet women and they found this place inside of them and they shocked themselves. <coughs> I made love to moaners and they found a deeper, more penetrating moan. I was becoming obsessed. I longed to be in charge like a conductor or a band. It was a kind of surgery, a delicate science. 
finding the tempo, the exact location of the moment. That's what I thought. Sometimes I found it over a woman's genius. Sometimes I snuck up on it, off the record, quietly disarming the surrounding alarms and moving in. Sometimes I use force, but not violent, impressive force, more like dominant. Sit back, relax, I'm gonna take you someplace out. Sometimes it was simply mundane. I found the moment before things even got started, while we were eating chicken and salad, just casual, with my fingers. Here it is, like that. In the kitchen, all mixed in with the balsamic vinegar. Sometimes I use props. <laughs> Y'all know I love props. Sometimes I made the woman find her moan right in front of me. I waited, stuck it out until she opened herself. And I wasn't fooled by the minor, more obvious moans. No, I pushed her further, all the way into her power room. There's the clip moan. The vaginal moan. Uh, uh, uh. The combo clip vaginal moan. Tortured Zen moment. 